Okay, so we've talked a lot about navigation, and we still haven't had what I would consider a lot of fun yet. We know we're still kind of building up to this, uh, you know, getting in there and starting the sculpt in ZBrush, which is the whole reason why we're here, because we want to start sculpting. So, go ahead and do a favor, do me a favor, and go to Preferences, Initialize ZBrush, and just, you know, get back to the, the basics. So you've got your tool menu over here, you've got your material menu docked over here. And I'm going to hit comma key, I'll go ahead and hide my light box. And let's go ahead and just really quickly select a, a Sphere 3D Primitive. Go ahead and drag it out. Go in Edit Mode. You can go up here and tap the Edit button or hit T. And now we're in Edit Mode, so we can tumble around our object. And I'm not going to bother going into my Initialize Options. I just want to start sculpting right away. So the first thing I'm going to do is hit this Make Poly Mesh 3D button. And now I can just start sculpting on my mesh. Uh, we're going to talk about very basic sculpting, and then we're going to kind of wrap up the rest of the very basic parts of the interface I haven't talked about yet. So, basic sculpting. We can navigate around our object now, and so if we go ahead and uh, start sculpting on our object here, uh, let's go ahead and sculpt the face. So I'm going to go navigate around to this back side of my object here, and as I'm navigating around my object, you see if I hold down shift, that'll actually snap to ortho, what we call orthographic views. That's basically your top, side, front, bottom. You can snap to all of those views in ZBrush. Now, it's hard for me to tell where my orthographic views are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Control Z. Uh, so if I hit Control Z, that's going to be an undo. And you're also going to see up here we have an undo history um, area. And we're going to get a little bit deeper into that uh, maybe later when we get into like big sculpting projects. You can actually record your undo history as you've been doing undos and move your camera around. It's really cool. Um, but just for now, just realize that actually if you click and drag up here, these are actually all of your undos. So you can kind of navigate your undos using a slider as opposed to um, Control Z and then Shift Z. Uh, to kind of go back and forth through your history. Um, so now we're just back to our regular regular sphere here. I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to snap it. And just for the heck of it, I'm going to do a big F right here. We're going to call that front. I'm going to hold down shift and then do a, a side. Actually, you know what? Let's do, uh, so we got front here. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to do right. And then on the back here, do back. And on this side over here, I'm going to do left. So now we've got our front side of the object, hold down shift, snap to the left, hold down shift, snap to the back, snap to the right. And if I start going up, navigating to the top here, to this polarized end, if I hold down shift, it'll snap to the top. Now if you're at home doing this and you're holding that and you're going like this, you hold down shift and it's snapping to the front, just navigate more to the top and it'll eventually snap to the top. Uh, it's kind of a feel thing. You know, you'll kind of get used to kind of navigating enough to snap it to the orthographic view you'd like. And we're going to enable this one top snap bottom and uh, you know these polarized ends are kinda nasty to sculpt on and we'll talk about topology and stuff when we get into I guess more advanced basic sculpting uh, but for now we have a standard brush selected we're in edit mode this isn't a poly brush primitive poly mesh primitive we're just sculpting on a poly mesh 3d that we've converted and we can sculpt on all these faces we can hold down shift and navigate to the top and the side and the right and the front and uh, so there we go. So now let's talk about the standard brush. Standard brush is going to be your default brush and this, since this is kind of the very first intro course that we're going to do, I'm going to stick with the standard brush for now and a couple of different modifiers. So standard brush means it is a standard brush. You click, you drag, it builds up. Um, if you want to go down into the mesh, so see how we're kind of building up. If you keep clicking and dragging on top of that, it'll just keep building it up more and more based on the normal angle of the face which basically means if I go turn on this polyframe over here each one of these faces has an imaginary little stick pointing out of it and that tells the 3D program which way that face is pointing. Um, some brushes use camera based which means uh, depending on how your camera is looking at the object it'll do it'll behave in a certain way. Um, the standard brush just takes the surface normal so if I sculpt over here, it just kind of goes straight out from the object. doesn't matter where my camera is, and it'll just kind of sculpt out. I'm going to turn off polyframe here. And I'm going to go over here to the B side. And um, let's go ahead and talk about one of our modifiers. So we've sculpted out. Now let's say I want to smooth it. I want, what I'm going to do is hold down Shift, and you're going to see my standard brush over here. Here's our brush palette. We're going to get to this in a second. But our standard brush, if I hold down Shift, turns into a smooth brush. So if I hold down shift and keep it held down and then run over my object, it'll actually smooth. So we can build up and we can hold down shift and smooth. Now I've, I'm actually, without even thinking about it, I'm changing my brush size, so I guess we should go ahead and talk about that. So, uh, and, I, and again, it's just habit. It's almost like a nervous tick with me while I'm working on stuff. I'm constantly, you know, hitting buttons and changing my brush sizes. So I'll try and keep that to a minimum because I know that can be confusing. Um, so I've got my standard brush here. 
and I'm brushing out, and by default, I don't know, let's say the brush size is this big, and you're brushing out, and it's really small, and it's, in, let's say you want to make your brush size a little bit bigger. So what you can do is you can go up here to your draw size at the very top of the menu here, and you're going to see if I hover over draw size, uh, the hotkey for that is S. Okay, so if I hit S, and now I'm not going to hold down S, I'm going to tap S and let go and you're going to see a draw size menu pops up right where your brush is. Now the cool thing about this is you can set up custom hotkeys that'll have that'll do like custom marking menus right where your cursor is and we'll get to that eventually when we get into customizing your own menus. But for now if you hit S, there's your draw size and you click and drag, makes your draw size bigger and smaller. So now if I hit S and then make my draw size really big and then drag out, there's my huge standard brush here and then I've hold down shift I can smooth it down, that makes it into a smooth brush. Um, and then if I hit S and then drag down, make it smaller. Now, let's talk about building in. So we've built out, so we've dragged a big standard brush and we smoothed it down. If you want to make this into a ridge, you can make your brush size smaller, you can kind of pull up a little bit more. Then you can smooth down these sides. There we go, and we've kind of got like a nice kind of creased looking mountain ridge there. Just based on what you know now about the standard brush and smooth brush, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, we'll add another little uh, thing to your portfolio here and your little brush folio. I'm going to hold down Alt. So if I hold down Alt, what that's going to do is see on the cursor there, there's a little minus sign. So by default in the standard brush, it is plus, which means it is Z adding. The Z add is turned on up here. Um, it is going to add to your mesh. It's going to pull up from your mesh. If you hold down Alt, that's going to turn that little cursor into a minus sign. And now with Alt held down, you're actually going to dig into your object. So just get used to building up, holding down Alt, and you're going to see as I'm doing that, I'm actually tapping S and making small modifications to my brush size. Um, again, that's just habit, and that's just something that you'll, you'll, you'll know you get faster at because it's really easy to go, okay, you know what? I want to pull up a big mountain range here, and then I want to make my brush size smaller, so I'm going to tap S, make my brush size smaller. I'm going to hold down Alt, and I'm going to dig in on this side, and then I'm going to make my brush size bigger, and then I'm going to not hold down Alt and just kind of bring this up, and then you know what? I'm going to kind of smooth this into that S. So I'm going to hold down Shift, on either side and kind of smooth these down. So we've got default Z add, which pulls up from the surface normal of the object, which kind of sculpts out. I mean, and I am saying all these technical things, surface normals and stuff like that. All that all that is is it's just pulling out from the face direction of the object. Your sculpt like if it's a piece of clay and you have an imaginary magic little vacuum hose <laughs> and you go along that clay surface, it's going to pull out from that clay surface. That's all that is. You're, you're pulling out by default. If you hold down Alt, you're pushing in. If you hold down Shift, it turns into a smooth brush up here and actually your cursor turns blue and you can smooth. So really, really basic and I'm not going to get any more any more uh, deeper than that just for this first part, but hold down Shift and smooth. You're pulling up, you're digging in and between those three, and you're also changing your brush size. You hit S and you bring it down, and that'll make it really small. And if you hold down, uh, you hit S and make it really big, make it really big, and then you can hold down Shift to smooth. And just a few more things while we're in the, the basics area. We've talked about draw size. We're also going to talk about Z intensity. So by default, we have a standard brush here, and we're going around our mesh. And let's go down to the bottom here. And if I just kind of drag out lightly with my Wacom tablet, and let's make our brush size big. So tap S and make your brush size pretty big, and you can kind of just like softly brush in your object, and then it'll kind of slowly build up, and then you can kind of hold down Shift and smooth that down. So you can kind of very delicately build up your object. Another thing you can use to control that is your Z intensity. By default, your standard brush is set at 25. So if you set this at like 9 or 10, you can, and again, you can tap this area in here and you can actually, let's type in 15, hit enter. You can tap in here and is when that number turns red is when you're able to type in a number and hit enter. Uh, so we change that to 15. If you kind of slow, like just very lightly brush out, it'll be even less than what we had. And if you hold down any, you just really press hard, it's going to build up that fast. Let's go ahead and do a couple times. And it, if we change that instead of uh, down to 15, let's change it like up to you know what, crank it up to 100, and then just like lightly tap on your object, you're going to be like, oh my god, that's pretty harsh. That's your Z intensity. If you, if you don't lightly do it, and you just pull down really hard, it's really going to pull up. And if you just keep sculpting on that, it's going to get, it's really, really pulling your mesh every single time. See how it took that surface normal and just went straight out? Let's go ahead and do all that. So uh, let's change our Z intensity down to like 54. So it's high, it's about double the default. Um, but it's not crazy. So if we lightly tap, you'll see it's uh, it's it's a lot more harsh. 
So when we're digging in, it's making a lot harsher digs. Uh, it still has pressure sensitivity. So if you drag lightly with intensity of 54 and then hit, press down hard and then kind of ease out on your pressure there on your Wacom, it still has pressure sensitivity. It's just the maximum it's going to pull out is a lot more because it's we've cranked up the Z intensity. So, you know, pretty, pretty simple. And if you make a, your brush size big and you hold down shift and smooth, you can smooth all this back. And uh, so, you know, keep in mind, usually when I'm, and it's kind of dependent on the density of your mesh, and we'll get into that when we start getting into the Dynamesh stuff, is your Z intensity will be kind of dictated a little bit by how many polygons your mesh is made up of. Uh, but on this simple of a mesh, we hit this polyframe button. With polygons this big, it's, you know, and it, it pretty intense, intense brushes will uh, affect the mesh pre pretty drastically. So... Z intensity, hold down shift to smooth, and then by default, standard brush, if you don't hold down alt, will pull up from the mesh. If you hold down alt, it'll turn into a minus sign, it'll push down, and then you can kind of smooth that out.